Dear Diary, it's now day four and there's still no signs of Keys, Julia, and Anthony. I fear that I may have to carry this new show all by myself. That might be a bad idea. Good news, however, Brittany, Lampy, and Manny have all come back from the 2015 mascot convention. Bad news, however, they've forgotten who I am. Researchers have discovered a flaw in the x86 architecture of the Intel processors made between 1997 and 2010. So pretty much everything before Sandy Bridge. The flaw lets an attacker install software in a chip's protected SMM or system management mode. This could likely lead to an intruder taking control of your PC and even infect your hard drive and wiping firmware. In 2008, there was something similar which was SMM related, but this version of the attack actually is near impossible to pull off as the attack would need system privileges on a PC before the SMM flaw becomes an option, but it can still happen. Researchers only tested Intel chips but say AMD chips may be effective as well. Well, I need an upgrade anyways. Skylake anyone? Leave a comment down below if this makes you want to get a new PC. In July, we saw the release of Cortana for Android from Microsoft. Pretty much anything you could do with Cortana on Windows 10, you could do on Android. One thing that was missing, however, was the ability to assign Cortana as your default home button shortcut, meaning all this time you're stuck using Google Now as your personal assistant by default. But now, Cortana can be enabled as your default. Cortana is still in beta for Android and, as usual, only available to people who are part of the Windows Insider program in the US. No love for Canada, just never any love for Canada. Why? Why do you treat America's hat this way? Wu Haijun, CEO of Chinese PC manufacturer Heisei, may have announced the GTX 990M a bit ahead of Nvidia's schedule. During a recent conference, Wu stated that Nvidia's new chip is codenamed N16E-GXX, and the TDP for the chip is somewhere between 100 to 185 plus watts. The performance is supposed to be able to reach the same as a pair of 980Ms and SLI. The chips could be released sometime in Q4. Oh snap! Looks like I won't be building a new PC, but rather buying a new gaming notebook. Some of you really enjoyed my rendition of Keys' Quick Bits, so here it is again, but this time we're gonna have a picture of them next to us. So, <clears throat> Quick Bits. Over the weekend, Evil Geniuses won the International Valve's fifth World Championship for Dota 2. Not only did Evil Geniuses take home the $6.6 .6 million first place prize, but it was the first time an American team has won the International. America! F yeah! NASA astronauts will be eating lettuce that was grown at the International Space Station. Now usually space grown veggies are sent back to Earth, but not this time but I'm still willing to bet that freeze-dried ice cream will taste better. Speaking of space, Space VR has launched their Kickstarter for Overview 1, Explore Space Through Virtual Reality. Basically, it allows for people to see what it's like as an astronaut in space through VR. Their goal is $500,000. Intel is set to launch Xeon-powered notebooks this fall, specifically the E3-1500Ms of the Skylake variety. And Samsung could be releasing a physical keyboard for the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. It's a cool idea, but at the same time, looks kind of hideous. Not gonna lie, it's pretty hideous. Sources for all of today's stories will be linked in the NCX forum post down in the description. Nakaka Pag Pag Agabug. I'm gonna have nightmares. But you know what might help with Filipino tongue twister nightmares? Lisa mattresses. Lisa mattresses are super comfortable mattresses with three layers of premium foam. They ship to your door within days and compressed in a box so they're easy to set up. Even if you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund within 100 nights. Plus, for every 10 mattresses that Lisa sells, they give one mattress to a homeless shelter. So even if mattresses aren't helping with your nightmares about tongue twisters, you can at least sleep a little bit better knowing that you're helping someone out. So if you visit lisa.com slash NCIX, you can save $75 or use promo code NCIX75 at checkout. Click here or the link in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching and for putting out with me three days in a row. If you want a chance to win something cool, comment down below for fans with benefits. Leave a like because Keys should be back tomorrow and subscribe for more videos like this, but with a lot more hosts from NCIX. Now, if you excuse me, I need to write in my diary about how I need to replace Keys's
salsa that I ate while he was gone. It's just so delicious. Gangsta. Later it is. Not only did Evil Geniuses take home the $6.6 .6 million first place pies, first place pies, mm. first, first place pies.